Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Spurs Career Mode, and we're making our second big signing of the transfer window at the beginning of this one. 11 million, 300,000 coins, 300,000 coins. You know, I've just commentated a, a, an Ultimate Team episode, can't you? 11 million, 300,000 pounds, and we bring in Hector Moreno, but it is, of course, as you can tell from the title in this video, time for the first North London derby of the season, as uh, there's confirmation here that Hector Moreno has joined the squad, and uh, it's time for Arsenal away in the Emirates. Now, this fixture was brought forward a couple of weeks I'm not entirely too sure why because in real life it was played at the beginning of September wasn't it I think it was on the 1st of September in real life but uh, nonetheless we're going away to Arsenal I've taken out a couple of the new signings put in some more regulars that you might expect to see in a, a straight up Tottenham side Jermaine Defoe Guilford Sigerson are the main two that went in players that have experience in these sort of matches and we came so close to getting a penalty here really really early on that somehow uh, Chesney managed to get the absolute skin of his elbow to the ball there first before Ericsson got there which unfortunately meant that it wasn't a penalty when he was taken down we came close to another goal there but unfortunately Chesney again made a decent save and we went in at half time 0-0 nil -nil down and this was such a tense game they brought on Mikel Arteta and Mesut Ertzel during the second half but it wasn't until the end of the game that the only goal came and it, as you can see it's Benzema are pushing down the left hand side they're 25 and a half million pound signing Jan Vertonghen doesn't jump in the middle I was furious at him as Theo Walcott comes diving in behind him with a lovely diving header similar to Lionel Messi's just the other day for Barcelona against Real Sociedad absolutely fantastic I'm not really too sure why he's doing that uh, like apologetic uh, celebration surely if you'd scored against your biggest rivals you'd be going absolutely ballistic but nonetheless Theo Walcott dives to put uh, Arsenal ahead and I was so so disappointed that uh, they were going to win this one we had a great chance here to get back level and uh, Aaron Lennon's going to race away I thought about taking the shot on I thought it was someone that was a little bit faster than Sandro running on the inside of me so I played a through ball and he couldn't get there in time Chesney beat him to it we are actually going to take a defeat from the opening North London derby of this series but uh, I guess you can say that's realistic because Tottenham did lose that game 1-0 in real life and uh, perfectly timed as well we get another offer for Michael Dawson I don't want him I don't mind accepting a bid that's just under his valuation we want him out of the club got four top quality centre backs already now with uh, Hector Moreno's uh, incoming transfer and uh, hopefully that deal will go through and he will move on and uh, we'll be able to uh, to keep everyone happy because of course with a big squad you need a big squad to compete on so many fronts but at the same time you don't want too many players because uh, you then get players being unhappy but this is the scrappiest goal of all time we've already had two shots blocked they're really really poor with getting the ball out of the box Ericsson's going to have another shot blocked and then another shot saved and Sandro just slide tackles the ball basically into the back of the net in the ninth minute to give us a 1-0 lead early on at home against Swansea now I'm not too sure what their away kit is all about with a purple and yellow to be completely honest but John Joe Shelby's going to break into the box here does good ball for strength the, uh, the initial shot's blocked but uh, Shelby reacts quicker than uh, Eunice Cabal squares the ball to Wilfred Boney and he puts them back on level terms in the 24th minute but uh, it wasn't long before they were going to have another chance but uh, we were actually able to, uh, to win the ball off them at the back and Moussa Dembele has the entire half to himself now should this be FIFA 13 you just race away put it near post and it would go top corner that's what I tried to do and unfortunately he scuffed the shot wide now that is very very realistic but having been playing FIFA 13 for a year, knowing that near post shots are overpowered, it's incredibly frustrating. But, uh, you know, that's what FIFA 14 is. It's a different game. You're going to have to find different ways to score. And as you can see from the stats, we haven't had a lot of possession, as you may expect against the team of Swansea stature that passed the ball very, very well indeed. But we have had a lot of chances. So I was confident going into the second half that we were going to be able to get a winner out of this one. And Moussa Dembele slots in Christian Eriksen down this left-hand side who turns his side wonderfully, beats the defender, and then as he scuffs his shot, actually. The real ball physics really played a part in that. It wasn't the cleanest of uh, connections. The ball just kind of bobbled into the back of the net. I was really, uh, really impressed with the way that that... Uh, flew into the back of the net. It was uh, something different, something we've not really seen on FIFA before. You hit that on FIFA 13 and it just flies into the back of the net, either on the floor, trickles, or uh, just rifles right uh, into the bottom corner of the net. But it just kind of bobbled. And I was, you know, it's a nice change. It kind of adds a bit of variety to uh, the sort of shots that you see. And then we made a couple of changes there. Kapu coming on and Chadley, who's actually been seeing quite a bit of first team football recently. Sometimes from the bench, sometimes he's starting. But he has a great chance here. Cuts inside, unfortunately, can't quite get the accuracy on his left foot to put that one across the keeper into the back of the net and unfortunately hits it straight at him but we're going to get another chance here lovely run from Chadley again inside the defender to outside the defender and again near post OP isn't 
for us this time again. Plays it straight at the goalkeeper and unfortunately isn't able to score. But alas, we are able to uh, to pick up three points, which is very, very pleasing coming off the back of that North London derby defeat. It's exactly what we needed. And as you can see, we sit third in the table with six points after three games. Of course, there are quite a few teams below us with uh, only two games played that might leapfrog above us. But I'm confident going into the next few games that we are going to be able to pick up the points we need to uh, move up the league into the Champions League spots for sure and then clo hopefully closer to that top spot but that is going to bring this episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy and of course there will be links in the uh, description and on screen in the annotation over the little subscribe emblem to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're going very very well these videos have been going down absolutely superbly and the channel has been showing some great growth in the past few days so please do show the channel some more support that would be absolutely amazing and it is of course wholly appreciated as well and if you did miss any of the other videos in this series feel free to click the uh, the button with the play emblem that will take you to the previous video and there will be links in the description to not only the playlist for the Tottenham career mode but the playlist for the Pac-Man series as well because of course recently sub boxes have been a little bit dodgy so uh, if you have missed anything I have still been uploading daily so uh, maybe even twice daily by this point if sub boxes are back on track I'm actually recording this on Wednesday the 25th so uh, do feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed and I will see you next time